Tate's tackle-breaking run clinched a wild victory and secured a place for the 18-year-old sophomore in the history books. That final run gave Tate 327 yards for the game, the most by a quarterback in FBS history, and put the finishing touch on a 45-42 Arizona victory. I knew I had to get it, Tate said afterward. And if I didn't get it, it was on me. I got hit pretty soon, but I kept my feet moving. Tate dragged tacklers for 31 yards. It was merely his fifth longest run of the night. He was phenomenal, UAA coach Rich Rodriguez said. Tate broke the QB rushing record of 321 yards set by Northern Illinois' Jordan Lynch in November 2013. It was the second highest single game rushing total by a Wildcat behind Kadeem Carey's 366 yards, also against Colorado, in 2012. Oh, by the way, Tate completed 11 of 12 passes for 142 yards and a touchdown. He accounted for five of Arizona's six TDs. I was really proud of the way he ran the football, Rodriguez said. But his composure when he got in there, his game management, seeing the field, Khalil certainly was the big difference today. And to think, Tate wasn't even supposed to play. I didn't even know his number, if I'm going to be quite honest, Colorado safety Ryan Mahler said. Brandon Dawkins started his fifth straight game for the Wildcats. Although Tate finally was healthy, after enduring a sprained shoulder for the past month, Rodriguez had given no indication that he would shuffle his quarterbacks. But on the ninth play from scrimmage, Colorado's Isaiah Oliver and others drove Dawkins into the Buffalo's bench. He got up but seemed shaky. Rodriguez said later, that Dawkins was a little nicked up then, but could have come back into the game. Tate was playing too well for Rodriguez to go back to Dawkins. Arizona's Sean Brown lost a fumble on that first drive. The Wildcats' second possession consisted of one play, a 58-yard Tate touchdown run. He followed with TD runs of 28, 47 and 75 yards. Asked if Tate would be the starting quarterback moving forward, Rodriguez said, it's hard to justify not starting him after this, right? The Wildcats, 3-2, 1-1 Pac-12, defeated the Buffs, 3-3, 0-3, for the fifth time in six tries under Rodriguez. Arizona next faces UCLA, whom Rodriguez has yet to beat as UA coach.